been in the practice facility one up maybe once or twice before, but uh, you know, obviously a home time coming. You know, hey, yeah, it was a good experience. <laughs> Glad to see the whole locker room. So right. a lot of fun. What was uh, what was the workout like for you? With it? what are some of the stuff they asked you to do, and how do you think you did? I mean, I've been through the process. Um, it's, it's been a, a very fun process. You know, getting to travel, seeing a lot of different brands that you normally see on the ESPN or TVs. Um, so you know, just uh, I mean, nothing unusual, nothing that I haven't already done or seen. Um, but hey, made a lot of shots, played pretty well today, so I'm feeling pretty good. Did Randy or Ernie have anything to say to you about you know going forward in the future? Uh, not to me personally, but uh, a lot of the assistants, uh, other management, you know, they've they shared some shared some things with me, and uh, hey, you know, we'll see. You know, the Wizards could use a you know with Andre getting up there in age as a backup point guard. Where would you? What kind of role do you think you could play if they decided to take it? Hey. <laughs> I think we both know the answer to that question. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, uh, DC is where, I, where I'm from. DC is yeah. where I want to be. So, you know, hopefully uh, I get the opportunity. But if not, I won't be discouraging or anything like that. Um, obviously, this is this is grown man business. Right. So, uh, you know, you, you have to be able to take uh, the good with the bad and be able to move on. What type of feedback have you gotten? In How you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what type of feedback have you gotten in terms of playing at the next level, um, you know, making the NBA? Um, I've, I've heard that I can play at this level. Uh, obviously, you don't want to hear the things that you want to hear all the time. Um, so, you know, I've heard that I can play at this level. Whether that, that's the truth or not, we'll see. All right. Um, in terms of playing in the area, you played at prep and then to get to this point, what would it be like to just play your entire way through D.C.? <laughs> that'd be, that, hey, that would be the, the, the icing <laughs> on the cake, you know. You know, I've, I've come through. A long, a long process. You know, I've played a lot of ball in this area, a lot of ball around the world. So, um, to to play at home, man, that that'll be something. That'll be something. You know, and uh, when I look on the roster, there's no guys from the area. So, but hey, like I said before, you know, this is grown band business. How many workouts have you done already, and how many do you have coming? Today out? was number six. Six. six okay. Yes. If you had a chance to talk to former teammates at Georgetown who've gone through this too and they've, have they given you any pointers or anything like that? Um, you know, d dip and dab, you know, throughout the years and, you know, just when they were going through the early stages, you know, having a chance to, uh, to talk to them and, you know, ask questions and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you know, everybody's experience is different. So, yeah. you know, um, one guy might be in shape, another guy might not be in the greatest shape. So um, everybody's experience is different. Um, every team, every workout is different. So. Uh, you know, they, they, they've shared some information with me. I've taken, you know, taken heed of it. And, you know, obviously, I think it's working. How about Georgetown Syracuse renewing the rivalry for Outstanding. the next four years? Hey, let's go Hoyas. <laughs> let's, let's get it going. Let's get it going. And, and I, think, uh, I think for both uh, schools, I think it's good. You know, obviously, it was kind of a little thing kind of missing this year. But, hey, right. um, you know, hey, it, it was a lot of movement. And uh, now it's back. So let's go.